In this video, I will show you a full guide on the best CPU GPU combos that you can buy right now. We are going to go through every single budget for you to pick the right GPU CPU combination without bottlenecking. Now, before starting, I want to say that right now it's an excellent time to build a gaming PC, especially if you're on a budget, because I know that there are new GPUs coming from both Nvidia and AMD, but they're going to release the high end GPUs first, so we even may have to wait another year until they release the budget GPUs. With that being said, I do recommend you building your PC right now, unless you want a high-end system. In that case, I recommend you waiting a little bit, but if you cannot do it, you want a PC right now, this video is still for you. So now, let's start. So with the cheapest GPU CPU combination, we have the i3 10100F and the GTX 1070 combo. The GTX 1070 on eBay, you can find it at around 170 bucks and it's the best GPU at its price. It has 8 gigs of VRAM, it's still pretty solid in today's video games. It's going to perform similar to the GTX 1660 or even the 1660 Super and you get those 8 gigs of VRAM, which is great. And then for the CPU, you can't get a cheaper CPU than this one, the i3 10100F, 68 bucks. There's no competition for this CPU and it's actually a really solid CPU at an LP gaming for its price. Although if you're playing competitive games like Valorant and CSGO, upgrading the CPU to the i5 10400F or the i3 12100F is going to give you a much better performance because those are mainly CPU demanding games. But anyway, this combo is great for 1080p gaming on a $500 gaming PC build. So it's going to be cheap and it's going to handle most of 1080p video games at 60 FPS average, of course, depending on the game and the settings, and that's why I do recommend you searching for every CPU GPU combo that I'm about to mention and search for the benchmarks on YouTube for you to see exactly how these combos perform on your favorite game and your favorite settings. With that being said, let's move into the next one. The next one is called the budget CPU GPU combo. The last one was the ultra budget one, but if you wanna spend a little bit more money and get that extra performance, I do recommend you going for the i3 1200F RX 6600 combination. There is no competition for this graphics card for the price. The 3050 is actually more expensive and it gives you less performance. So I do not recommend you going for Nvidia for this budget then the i3 12400f is a budget king cpu right now you can make the case and go for the 10400f but it's going to give you a really similar performance and it's going to cost you more and when we are talking about tight budgets even 10 dollars it's a lot of money that's why i do recommend you going for the i3 and this rx 6600 combination that is going to be great once again for every single game at 1080p but you will get that extra performance that you don't get on the last one however there is one more combination that i do recommend you going for 1080p gaming and that is the 1080p ultra performance combo that is what i call this combination because you get the amd ryzen 5 56 with which is really really similar to the i5 12400f and the ryzen 5 56 with x in terms of performance and for the graphics card i picked the rx 6650 XT. Now, this is the max that I would spend on a 1080p gaming PC build. I wouldn't spend more than this because with a better GPU than the 6650 XT, let's say the 3060 Ti or the 6700 XT, those are more for 1440p gaming. So, if you want to play at 1080p with the highest refresh rate monitor, high FPS without dropping, then the 6650 XT is going to be more than enough. You shouldn't spend more money on a 1080p computer. Now with this combo it's actually great as well for streaming because you get that Ryzen 5 56 sandwich which is a 6 core processor so for streaming it's going to be enough and then you get those 8 gigs of VRAM for the GPU so this PC is great for both streaming and gaming at 1080p and like I said before I wouldn't spend a single penny more than this if you have or you're planning to buy a 1080p monitor and I'm talking about even a 240Hz one. With the next combo, we have the 1440p starting combo or the medium end combo, if you want to call it like that. We have the Ryzen 5 5600 again. You can go with the 12400 or the 12400 F, but the 12400 is going to be around $50 more expensive by the time that I'm recording this video. And the motherboards are going to be more expensive, so you're looking to spend more money. That's why I didn't put Intel, but you can go with the i5 12400 F no problems whatsoever and for the graphics card i actually picked two 
because once again you can go with any of these two i went with the rx 67 camera xt 12 gigs of vram and the rtx 3060 ti i will give you both pros and cons for each of these graphics cards right now for you to make the right selection i do recommend you going for the rx 67 hybrid xt as much as i love nvidia the reason being is that it has 12 gigs of vram which right now is not an advantage but later on with future games maybe 12 gigs of vram is going to be the better option so if you want to future proof a little bit then the 67 hybrid xt is going to be better and it has a lower price as well so you get both of those pros but then you have the 3060 ti that is going to perform much better for ray tracing and dlss if you're working on a tight budget go with the 67 hybrid xt it actually performs really similar if not the same in some games it's going to perform better and other games is going to perform worse so once again search on youtube rtx 3060 ti versus the rx 67 hybrid xt in different games for you to see your favorite games and which one is better for you that way you spend your money on the right combination with the next combo we have the i5 12600 k and the rx 6800 i call this one the high end combination this is a great combo even for 4k gaming it's more of a 1440p ultra high end computer even with a 1440p 240 hertz monitor you will be able to take advantage of this combo however it's great for 4k gaming smoothly 60 fps on average on every single game once again depending on the settings but it's a really really good combo and if you have a budget of around 850 bucks this one is definitely for you the i5 12600k it's a great cpu for both gaming and multitasking so if you're thinking of content creation video editing this one will be way more than enough and the rx 6800 it's a great gpu for even 4k gaming so without a doubt this one it's a great combo you also get those 16 gigs of vram which might be huge for the future and with the best combo i call this the super high-end combo we have the ryzen 7 5800 x 3d rtx 3080 12 gigs of vram version combination the ryzen 7 5800 x 3d is the fastest cpu for gaming on the market right now the i9 12900k is going to be better for multitasking but the price of the 5800 x 3d it's actually pretty competitive right now at 429 bucks and then the RTX 3080 12 gig version it's in my opinion the best GPU out there for 4K gaming yes you can go with the 3090, 3090 Ti or the 6900 XT from AMD but I don't really see the reason on spending that much money on a GPU especially when the new GPUs are coming out so those will hit a lower price really soon and on top of that the new GPUs are going to have a much better performance for a lower price and with that being said this is the max amount of money that i would spend on a cpu gpu combo that's 1278 dollars which is still a really pricey combination but if you really want the best of the best for both content creation and gaming this one will be the best choice so hopefully this video was helpful for you if it was please leave a like and subscribe but most importantly hit that bell button so you get notified when i upload this type of content and if you're searching for a probable pc i will leave you a probable pc video in the top right of the screen that i do recommend you watching if you don't want to build a pc by yourself with that being said thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one